text her. Hi. What's up? How's it going, everybody? Uh, Peter Parker Comics here. Welcome back. I haven't done a video in a spell. Um, this is gonna be... I've got a big old mess here. It's gonna be sort of a collection of everything that's... Ugh, what am I trying to say? This is like a new comic book day haul for the last... At least three weeks. Um, but there's not that much new stuff. It's mostly like dollar bin stuff I've picked up. Some free comic book day things are in here. A lot of venom. Um, you'll probably see like ten copies of this book. Um, but there's no order. It's all kind of thrown together. It's a mess. There's there'll be like new stuff and then fifty cent stuff and then new stuff and then I don't know. It's all mixed in weird. And there's more up there and that's up there and then. In the other room, I got a big stack of what I picked up yesterday, and that's almost all dollar bin stuff, but a couple of new things from this week, so if I have time to get through all this somehow, I will try to um, grab those books and at least try to show my brand new stuff. But if not, I got enough for, I have plenty to do for, for another video, so um, let's just jump on in. Um, start over here. So yeah, I guess this was sort of the talk of the town uh, the last week or two, is Venom, Virus. Uh, cause then, um, this is supposed to be like his first full appearance, he cameoed in 25, um, but now that, I mean, there's kind of a debate over what come, what came first, this or this, uh, the free comic book day has a full appearance of virus in it, and this book was published, it was printed, and released in some places well before 26 here. Even before 25, which has a cameo of him. So by just science alone, by actual date that this was printed, the date that it was ink put to paper, this came first. Right there. Boom. That should be the one that should settle it right there. But, oh, this was postponed on release date. They canceled Free Comic Book Day. These didn't come out until like two weeks ago. Like, well, okay. That was the suggested plan for comic shops. Some comic shops are still shut down. Some have already reopened and shut back down again. Others um, didn't have to shut down. Maybe their area was less affected by COVID and all this shit. The real virus going on. Because um, I know damn well a lot of people got this book last week of shops. Shops have these books. They're free comic book day stuff. Most of them anyway. Um, well, the end of April. Um, they had to have them in time for like May 1st, I think it was, first week, first Saturday of May is always free comic book day. So most shops had these mid to late April probably, and um, I mean I saw on like some social media posts, people were posting that they already had this oh, at least a week before May, uh, fuck, what am I trying to say? At least a week before free comic book day, some of these were on eBay, um, a couple Instagram posts, I saw these like, hey, you already got that? Cool. But that was, I mean, well, when was shut down? Like, March-ish for a lot of places. So, yeah, we didn't kind of, we were like, oh, yeah, free comic book day. That came out. That's That still exists. That's going to happen. And, like, cool. It was cool to see that. And, but most of us, correct, couldn't get this book until a couple weeks ago. Probably mid to, in, mid to late July is when this was technically released. But, some again, some shops that weren't affected by COVID... Maybe they weren't supposed to, but they were still giving these out May 1st when they were originally planned to. Um, in a lot of places, they were throwing these on eBay. If you check eBay, there's there's sold listings back in... I believe... I double-checked this like a few days ago, and there, I think it was... I can't give you the exact date, but at some point in April, some of these sold. I, it was probably the end of April, I'm sure. I don't think they had them earlier than that. But all throughout May, this book was selling. This book hadn't even been printed yet. So how are these selling? How are these already on the secondary market in people's hands, in their homes, in their comic boxes? How, are, how did people already have this if this came first? That doesn't make any sense to me. And now even CGC is trying to cover all their bases and basically they're labeling this one as... It says like the technical first appearance originally was planned to be released before Venom 26, which is the actual first full appearance. So it's like they're trying to please both people, with all parties with involved with this, 
And I'm just hearing a lot of debate with people who invested heavily in this book or they bought a bunch of the exclusives. They're like, no, fuck that free comic book they should. That free book can't be a first appearance. Uh, yes, it can. Um, oh, it, well, it was postponed. Free comic book day was canceled, so uh, it didn't come out until a couple weeks ago. It doesn't matter. Some people had these books months ago. Oh, well, uh, uh, well, eBay, eBay said, no. Well, well, we'll let the market say, no, the market doesn't get to decide actual fact. You know, this was printed first. This came out first. And I have one open here. I can settle it all right fucking now. I mean, da da da. Cool. No. These are the same people that were calling him Cunnel. See, boom. All right. This is the free book. That's virus right there. If it was just that even. Okay, you can have the debate. Is this a cameo? They name him. He's speaking. It's the whole Wolverine Hulk 180 thing again. But no, he's over here too. He's in several panels. He's in action. He's in engaging in dialogue. He was named. He's on several pages. Multiple panels. See him again. Now, let's say it was like just that. Yeah, that's a cameo. If that was all you got. And even if this did come first, I would almost throw this away. Yeah, it's just an extra cameo. It's just a preview appearance, something like that. Because it even says, to be continued in Venom 26. As if this was taken from Venom 26. So yeah, okay, it could be first cameo in preview or something like that. But no, you saw him in several panels. Sorry, I'm moving all over the place. I'm going to give you guys whiplash. Um, you can clearly see that was a full appearance. Go by this. Do, do, do. Look at that. Oh, May 2020. I, well, I thought May 1st. Number one, May 2020. So right there. That's what CGC labels should say for this, which I believe they already say 720. They should say, like with all comics, the date on the cover, like old comics when they have the month, the month and the year, the month and the number or whatever, that date and the year are on every, are on uh, every CGC label right at the top. They give the, the title and the date. And they all give you this publication date. If you look in the inside of every page, it gives you the exact date of when it was, when it was printed or technically published, when it was published. May 2020. Uh, Venom 26 wasn't released until fucking July, and 25 was in June. So when did since when did June and July, July come before May? I don't know. Okay, should we take it even further? These were actually made, like put ink to paper. Oh, sorry, I gotta cut my nails. <laughs> Manufactured way back in February, between February and March there, and I double checked. I looked in Venom 25, which does have a cameo of Virus, for sure. That was what we were saying, because the majority of people weren't getting their free comic book day books until late June, early July, but a few of them weren't getting them until the end of July, and those are the guys that are really saying, like, no, Venom 26, I, I had 25 and 26 in hand before I got my free book, so that, 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 that doesn't count, that came second. Um, but there were a few people who got 25 before the free comic book day book so their first time really seeing first time the general public saw virus was in that cameo in 25 and if you check when that book was manufactured it's it says like march 20th to april 10th something like that like it's end of march beginning of april so even by the manufacture date of what was made first this beats it by at least like two weeks if not a whole month. So no matter how you want to look at it, whether 26 was being the first full or even first cameo or first time you saw him at all, no. The free comic book day book outdates or pre predates, sorry, uh, predates both of those in every way, shape, and form. No, he's not on the cover. And no, I don't think this is going to be the money book. I don't think this is going to be the one to invest in. I'm just speaking scientifically, based on fact. This came out first. All, de all debate should be settled. You've n we've never gone by release date for when a book came out. You always go by the publication date. The date that they put on the CGC label, they put at the top right there, it's all, it should say 520. That's what all other books will say. Whatever date this says on it, like probably 720 in here. It probably says July 2020. Um, that's the date it's going to have on the CGC label. But apparently, yeah, I guess I think the first labels have been, have, have come out or come back, however you say it. Um, 
and they're trying to, I think I already, I, I did like three takes of this video, I don't know if I, I think I already said it, uh, they're kind of trying to cover all their bases and basically please everyone by saying, no, this actually came out 720, which is bullshit, I just showed you, May, and they put on there like, planned on being the first appearance of virus, however, due to coronavirus, which, that's another thing, if CGC has to really, like, name drop COVID in order to justify this coming first, I don't know, it's just fucking bullshit. And something that's always bothered me is CGC doesn't make the rules. I get that they're an authority, but they're not the authority. That's like saying eBay decides all. And it's it's really just all these extra labels are just ways for sellers to sell more books. So of course they're going to reach and grab at any possible extra key or key moment or listing or label or any extra push they can put on a book to make, make it sell better. They're going to put it on there. That's why so many characters now have seven first appearances. Uh, Black Winter with Thor, I just showing this one, has like, Black Winter has had like six cameos already. Like how, they're only up to issue five? Exactly, I don't get it. They're just trying to find as many possible books to jam down your throat. And then adding in additional printings, and then they put them on the cover of some of those. But some of those, where he's in the interior more, maybe the additional printing where he's on a cover of an earlier issue was just released after this one. It's just so fucking confusing, it's so hard to keep up. But you can't take what fucking CGC and a lot of these eBay guys or uh, the big one, uh, Key Collector, you can't take their word as law. They don't get to decide. They, who made them fucking Comic God? They don't, they don't make the rules. They're just kind of picking up everything we throw at them and they're kind of making their best educated guess. Usually, usually using science and actual factual release dates to justify their answers, but... Uh, whatever. Or, whatever. Moving on, I digress. Um, and this is another one that bugs me. Um, Pulse 11. Okay, first, uh, what's her name? Danny Cage. Danielle Cage. Jessica Jones and Luke Cage had a baby. I don't know if you guys knew that. Spoiler. Um, Danny Cage's first appearance is Pulse 13. What? What? I'm holding Pulse 11 and I see her on the cover. Technically, a cover is still an appearance, whether you want to call it a cameo or not, but CGC recognizes 13 as a first appearance. And if you look on eBay, all the 13s say first appearance. Well, explain this. It's just like, I don't know. There's so many little things like that, discrepancies of like, whoa, they're on the cover, but not the interior, or, well, that's just a cameo, so that doesn't really count, but, or this additional printing of this book, that should count, but it didn't come out until after the other cameo, so... Is it a second cameo? It's just, I don't know. Man. Just go, I mean, just read your fucking books. Enjoy the stories. It's so hard to keep up with all the what's hot and what's trending and what's, I don't know, which printing people are trying to buy and what, whatever. Okay, yeah, so these are jumping into some dollar books I picked up. I think this was actually a 50 cent one. Uh, I do already have that. I'm going to sell it. Uh, Moon Knight 1 and 2 from the Finch Run. Pumped to have those. I'm not a big Moon Knight fan, but I don't mind him. I'm trying to get more into him. But I love David Finch, so. Uh, Frontline one, I think I got the whole run. No, uh, I did, actually. So I got two copies of number one, and then like one, two, three, I think. One and two. I'm gonna sell those. Those are, are up there, I think. But that's fun. Um, this one. So what I, I think these came from an LCS I don't go to very often. He had like a stack of books and I wanted like three or four of them in there, mainly this one. But I think this one goes for quite a bit and I just, I didn't want to pull it out and like mention it really. I didn't want to like say, I don't know, I was just like, hey, how much are these books? And I meant like, how much are the ones in this stack, like individually? He's like, well, you take the whole stack for 20. And I mean, I ended up pulling out probably $40 worth of stuff I can sell a handful of books I want to keep, and this one, which I think is at least like a $10 book on its own. It's one of the last Peter Parker covers I didn't have. Uh, I love it. And maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's a, a cheaper one, but I think it's in the like $10 to $30 range. So that alone, I was like, cool, that paid for it, and, but at Moon Knight 1 and 2 were in there, a couple of these new Avengers I needed, I think 2, 3, and 4. I have like issue 1 and then a bunch of the ones in the tens, teens, whatever. So I I will now, I now have like a, I mean, where are the rest? I know there's at least like a four and maybe a five in here. Um, so I have a near 
full run of, I don't know if this is volume one or two of New Avengers, I can't remember, I get them confused. Um, uh, but I have almost all of those now. The Diodato cover ones. Well, that's Finch, so, I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking of. Finch did a good run on these, but then Diodato did a lot more, and he was also doing the interiors for a good while. But maybe that's the other, like volume two. Uh, pick this up for two bucks. I mean, I'm already running out of time, so I'm not even gonna get through half of these books, let alone the next stack I have to do. So that's all right. I got, I'll just do another video after this. This is a signed, multiple signed Lady Rawhide book. I thought, why not? I like the art. Free comic book day with Spider-Man on it. Couldn't say no. A free comic book day. This is, uh, I believe, your first appearance of the Batman from the TV show in comic form. I don't know, it's just Batman number one, so I went over it. Oh yeah, some Bianchi, or B I don't even know how to say it. Beyonce! Simone Bianchi! I always thought it was a girl, Simone, but it's, it's a guy. It's like Simon, but French. Simone. Simone Bianchi. Bian Bianchi. That's just one of the sickest, uh, one of the sickest Doctor Strange covers I've ever seen. That is dope. Dopest dope I ever took. Uh, Ripclaw number one. I have always wanted a Ripclaw number one. I had Ripclaw one half, that wizard book, for the longest time. I've had three copies of that thing. Um, God, at least. I've never come across a number one. I never wanted, I didn't care enough to like go on eBay for it. It's one of those like I always just planned to find one in a dollar bin one day. And this last week I found two. And I think two different covers as well. So I'm pumped. So maybe they're different printings or different volume. Like maybe this is the second Ripclaw, I, I don't know. But I now have two Ripclaw number ones. And this dope Star-Lord, the art in here is actually pretty unique. It's all like computerized, but early age. CG art. I don't know. It's it's kind of cool. Well, you have to check it out for yourself. Um, but I gotta wrap this up. I'm running out of time. Um, so if you want to see some Spawn and some more Thor action, some more new comics, uh, just subscribe and stay tuned. I'm gonna post another video as soon as I get this one up. Alright. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace!